So Town's preseason is in full swing. Another week at Playford Road on the grass and now heading off to Loughborough University for a training camp. And of course, they kicked off their first preseason game with a 7-0 win over non-league Nieder Mark. And that was a great day. It was indeed. In today's video, we're going to take a look at five things we may learn from preseason. Let's take it away. So first up is injury comebacks. Now, we had four important players who were sidelined for a good Good period at the back end of last season. First up, we had Carl Edwards, who uh, suffered a quad injury in training. Um, I think it was the middle of February. Didn't play again. Um, we saw him at Needham Market. He looked more bulky. He really did impress in that first 30 minutes. Make a lot of crosses, make a lot of good skills, some good touches. Um, I think under Makira McKenna, I think he's going to thrive. Um, I'm looking forward to his progress in preseason. Uh, then we saw Lee Evans as well at Needham Marker. He missed um, the end of last season, suffering a a season-ending knee injury um, against Burton in that 3-0 win in February. And um, we saw him for a good 20 minutes against Nina Market. And um, he's another player I think is going to be key um, this season. Then we've got George Emerson, who suffered a, a season-ending ankle ligament damage, unfortunately, in mean, that Gilliam game in March. And that was a really moment where we were like, oh no, what are we going to do? But Cameron Burgess came in and did fantastically. So fair play to him. Uh, Joe Emerson was actually on the balcony for this game, didn't play, but he was there alongside Katie Jackson, of course, Tane Jackson, who came out of nowhere under Kieran McKenna, scoring those goals, but then he got an injury, a hamstring, which cut his season short in mean, that game against Portsmouth at March. Once again, he was on the balcony, as I said, um, in good spirits with Jordan Emerson, and I'm sure they're going to be playing a key part in this preseason. I'm sure they're both raring to go. Um, so yeah, injury comebacks, looking forward to seeing all these four players progress in preseason, and let's see how they get on. So up next is formations. So using the same system, what will Kira McKenna do? Of course, Kira McKenna played pretty much the 3 4 3 system for all of his 24 games in charge last season. Um, of course, there's always different variations of that. Um, sometimes it's just two up top with one behind. More often, it's one up top with two number 10s in support. But the base shape was always the same, pretty much. Um, of course, pre season is an opportunity for Kira McKenna to experiment. This is his first pre-season um, playing different players in different positions. You saw that with Rakeem Harper playing at centre-back, different players playing out wide. I'm looking forward to seeing what Kieran McKenna will do in terms of formations, the system. Let's see how he does and uh, let's bring it on. So up next is new signings. Um, Kieran McKenna and co have managed to get four in the door so far. Dominic Ball, Greg Lee, Flair Zappo and Tyrese John Jules. And you can't underestimate how important it is to get players in the door at the start of preseason. Get that core of a squad. We saw that under Paul Cook. 19 new signings, all signed at different times during preseason, during the start of last season. It's just so important to have that core of a squad for the first few weeks of preseason, the first preseason game. Uh, of course, we saw three of the players at near market. Dominic Ball in the first half, and he looks like a unit. Looks like he's going to become a fan favourite. I was impressed by him very much so, very quickly. And then we saw Freddie Dapo and Greg Lee in the second half, and they both scored um, for a striker. It's always good to score early doors in preseason. I know it was only against Nina Market, but that was a good chip from Freddie Dapo. And Greg Lee was just impressive in, on that left. And of course, scoring is always a bonus as well. Um, and Atarius John Jules, we didn't see him in action, but he is just coming back from an injury. But I'm sure we'll see him in preseason later on. Um, but yeah, that is very key in preseason to get your signings done sorted. And I'm sure we'll have a few more through the door as well during preseason. So fourth on this list is breakthrough chances. Now, preseason always offers the opportunity for returning loanees, some youngsters to break through. Um, and we've got a few players like that. We've got Corey Andalba, of course, returning from his loan spell from Salford City. A very good loan spell there in League Two. Uh, won the Supporters Player of the Year. He's now 22. He's now back at Playford Road. This will be his fourth preseason with the first team. And could this be the year he makes his league debut? And I think under Kieran McKenna, I think he can thrive. I mean, he suits the style of play under Kieran McKenna. He's a left-footed centre-back. He can also play left-back if needed. Um, and I do hope he can kick on the Irishman because this will be a make-or-break season for him. And I hope he does well. Uh, of course, we've got some other youngsters. Of course, Cameron Humphreys, who played against Charlton at the end of last season. Um, of course, set up Norwood for his goal in that 4-0 win. And he's been here and he's been training with the first team pretty much. And of course, Kieran Dyer came out and said he's the best, second best centre midfielder at the club. So I think he will definitely play uh, a lot in pre-season. Uh, then we've got other players, of course, some other youngsters. We've got Twanda Chihuahua, uh, LB Arman and Tommy Hughes, who signed a six-month deal um, after his contract ran out. And um, he's had a lot of injuries, but he really impressed me at Nina Market in the second half. Scored a goal 
and I think he even set up a goal as well, if I can remember. But um, he really did impress me, and I think he hopefully will play a lot of preseason games. And you never know, could kick into the first team. We shall see. But it's always good preseason to see some of the youngsters have a little opportunity and see how they get on. So there we go. And the final thing is basically win games, win preseason games, get that winning habit. Um, now preseason results don't really mean nothing to be fair. Like history suggests that, you know, we lost 6-1 against Charlton on the Mitt McCarthy one time. Um, last preseason, we won one game out of the sixth preseason game, which was the opener against Dartford. Um, but I think it's just good to see some wins under our belts in preseason, just to have that winning mentality going into the season, develop that winning habit. Um, of course, we didn't go on to win a game last season until September, which was not great, was it? Um, but, you know, a lot of these are pretty much just fitness exercises, pretty much for the first few games. And then when we get to the later stages of preseason, it's now like, yeah, everyone's fully fit, ready to go. We know, we sort of know what the team is looking like now, looking at the shape, looking at the formations. Um, but I think it's just great to see some wins under the belts, some goals, you know, get Freddie Ladapo on the score sheet. We've got Connor Chapman already scored a hat trick. Some of the players having some good minutes, playing some good football. Um, and that's pretty much what I want to see. Just a winning habit, winning games. Um, we've got Southend, we've got West Ham, we've got Millwall and ASC Wimbledon. So hopefully we can get some wins under there. Play really well against West Ham. And um, there we go. That is five things we might learn from preseason. Get in the comments down below your thoughts, your feelings on preseason as a whole. And of course, we'll be back for many more videos throughout the summer on preseason games. So bring it on.